The night was cold, yet there was no wind at all. It was more a whisper. Life was meritorious for me, Harry Flint. My story begins here. Sitting on my old trivial leather chair in front of my messy table and staring at my freaking glass of whiskey. Yes, I'm drunk. My life is a total mess. I have no wife, no children, no family at all. I swear to God, if the next case about a cheating wife, I quit. Or maybe I could get some cash. Retire away on a small paradise island where I can sip a cocktail without people disturbing me. Life would be way better than now. Hello, Detective Harry Flint. How can I help you? Mr. Flint. I have a job for you. And you want me to follow up on your husband, right? No. Listen very carefully. I'm looking for someone, and I believe you might be of some help. And who am I talking to? You will know in due time. Well, this is not how I work. Let me know when you can tell me. Goodbye. Mr. Flint, it's me again. Please, before hanging up, listen to my offer. Alright. If you take this assignment, I will pay you $15,000, $5,000 in advance, and the rest after completing the job. Go on. I am looking for someone. He took something from me and I would like to have it back. What's his name, ma'am? Don't bother with details. I will send you everything you need to know later. Alright, but you need to know that I don't guarantee my work with 100% success. What are the outcomes for me if I fail? Well, let's just say it would be better for you not to deceive me. Great. If I got a real job. Pretty heavy. That one must be of some real deal. Only my name on it. Only Mr. Flint. Mr. Flint, as you may have already noticed, you have in your possession $5,000 and a photograph. Two weeks ago, a man named Alan Johnson took something from me. Something very valuable. Your mission would be to locate that man. He is the one in the photograph. If you complete this job, you will get your reward. Good luck. Nothing, and my list of informants was getting short after each phone call. I 
I even met with my most trusted informant. Sorry, that's all I could find. Hope you have better luck than someone else. But in vain. only one last chance, one last resort. I didn't want to come to that extent, but work is work. The place was kind of dirty and closed, even the outside was not too attractive. We probably didn't like to attract attention. Nicole was an old friend of mine. She is an expert hacker and a good informant. Who is this? It's me. Me who? Harry Flint. You are not? Yeah. I deserve that one. But hey, I came to give you back what I owe you. After I gave her the money, with a little surplus, she went straight to the task. And boy, was she good at that. She kept hitting the keys without stopping. And finally she did it. Johnson photos were appearing on the screen. She found him. Got out of her place with what I wanted. I got the information I needed. Mm, the case is becoming easier. Found you, you miserable thief. P please let me go. They, they, they were gonna kill me. Oh no, I'm not. My dear, ten thousand dollars. Please, <laughs> I, I, I give it to you. Okay, okay, we are here. Get 
No, 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 don't you die on me, not right now. Those two thugs have followed us here. Remember something to me. I couldn't understand though. I'm sorry, Johnson. I had to act quick. Those bastards were waiting for me outside. I need a way to get out fast. Think, please, think! Oh my god, no wonder she's paying me for so much for this. Hello. It's late. Johnson is dead. Two men killed him. It's unfortunate. I guess it means the god truck is over. I have the thing you're searching for. Well, I guess it's not over yet. You come and take the freaking box to give me the rest of my money. Okay. I will be there in a few hours. I will meet you at your office. Good afternoon, Mr. Flint. I believe you have something for me. First the money, and then your precious box. I'm sorry, but you need too much.